Howdy, I'm Mudlosh141 and today I'm going to show you how to set up my optical missile guidance system. This is a revamp of my old code. Uh, it's been completely rewritten. Hopefully it's a lot better and a lot easier to set up for you guys. So I'm going to start off with a small ship. Missiles can be small or large ship. I prefer small ship because they're a lot smaller, more compact, I can fit them easier. Okay, so our important blocks, we're going to need a remote control. Now the way that this remote control is pointing is very important. This upside down T needs to point in the direction that you want to go. This is where the missile measures its front direction off of. So if this is pointed wrong, your missile is going to go really wonky. All right. Now we're going to also need a gyro. The way this gyro is placed does not matter. You can place this however you want, whatever way you're pointing, which is a bit different from the old code. Um, I tried to make it a lot easier for people to set up, so hopefully y'all enjoy that. We need a power system. Uh, you can use either a battery or you can use a reactor. Um, the code will take care of both. We also need a timer and the program. The timer is going to be our loop and the program is going to be the thing controlling this missile. Okay, so go into the program. Let's paste the program in here, right there. We'll get back to that. Okay, now we need a thruster of some sort. That'll be our thruster. This is our main thruster, because it's pointed, or it's gonna push the missile in the forward direction, as specified by that remote control block. Okay, and now the final thing we need is a merge block. This is the prettiest missile I've ever made in my life. Okay, so one last thing we can do, this is totally optional, is if you want some detached thrusters, which will fire before the main ignition, um, detached thrusters will allow you to, well, detach this thing from your ship. So if you want to drop it off of a wing pylon, you can use these thrusters to push them away from the ship before the main engines kick on. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find these small thrusters and give them the tag detach. Okay. So on each one of these, I'm just going to copy paste because I'm tired of typing. <laughs> Missed. Okay. There we go. Each one of these small thrusters, we're going to put detach on them. That tells the code that these should be used to push the missile away from the ship before we fire the main ignition. Okay. Now what we need to do is on every block, add the tag missile 1. Now if you make multiple missiles, this tag is going to need to change from missile 1 to missile 2, missile 3, missile 4, so on and so forth. And inside the code, you'll see that there is a number up here. When we get to the configurable variables, there's a number up here that's missile number. This will also need to change if you have a second missile. And all the blocks are named Missile 2, you need to change this 1 to a 2. Okay, so let's finish naming that and then I'll get into the, the juicy bits of the code. So just slap this tag wherever you want. You can stick it in the middle of the name if you want. You can stick it at the front of the name if you want. Heck, you can even stick it in parentheses. It really doesn't matter as long as this tag is together. The code does not matter what else is there. And this is truly indicative of most of my codes. I try and make it so that it searches for a, a tag and not the actual name. You don't have to rename the block, the entire block missile one. You can just slap it on wherever you want. Okay. So let's set up our timer real quick. I want it to be silent. That's personal preference. I don't like the loud noises it makes. Um, now let's go to set the delay to one. Let's go to setup actions. We find the timer block. Trigger now. Find the timer block. Start. Find the, the program block. And then we're going to run it. Not with the default argument. This is a little different from last time. We're going to run it with the argument fire. Confirm. We have all our actions right there. And then we can exit. Do not start this. If you start this, the missile will fly. This is how you fire the missiles by triggering now. You don't want to do that right now. We're trying to set it up. Okay. 
So, if we go to the code, where is the code? Here it is. Then we can scroll past all the setup instructions and whatnot. And we'll go here to the configurable variables. We've already touched on the missile number one. This missile or this detach tag was what I was slapping onto those thrusters I want to detach from the ship. Um, the reference name is going to be the the name of the block on the shooter ship that's going to tell us tell the missiles where it needs to fly. Updates per second is 10. You should just leave it at that. You don't really need to change it. Uh, these are the guidance parameters. Um, this guidance delay is one. Um, this is means that one second after you tell the missile to fire, the guidance will kick in. Now you can set this to zero to make it kick in as soon as the missile fires. Um, which I don't recommend because typically I'm firing it from my ship and I don't want it to guide and smack into my ship and break stuff. This detach duration is the amount of seconds that the detached thrusters will burn or the detached artificial mass will burn. Artificial mass is optional. You can just slap it on the missile wherever, name it with the tag missile one, code will take care of it. Main ignition delay is the amount of time after the detach duration has burned that the main thrusters will fire. And this is in seconds, of course. The drift compensation parameters. If you set this to true, the the missile will compensate for unwanted drift. If you set it to false, the missile will drift like Tokyo drift, and you probably won't hit what you're aiming at. I recommend leaving this to true. Spiral trajectory. If you set this to true, the missile will execute a spiral pattern to try and avoid turrets. Um, you can configure the radius of that spiral right here and the time that it takes the missile to complete one revolution of that spiral. And this right here is the control system. You have our proportional derivative constants. Uh, I did not use integral constants for my PID control system because they weren't really needed and they kept just climbing uncontrollably. So, probably don't want to change these. Uh, they're pretty good. I've optimized them. To painstaking tests for these constants um, and then as you see don't touch anything below this some important stuff don't break it okay so that's good and always if you want to check if your missile is set up correctly you can run the argument setup in the code right run it and it will tell you Optional, no artificial mass is found, no beacons found, no antennas found, no shooter reference block found. So the shooter reference block is something that should be on the actual shooting ship itself, so that's okay right now. But these optional ones, you can add these on if you want. I'm actually going to go ahead and add the beacon on so that it'll be easier to see this missile. If you want your missile to work in multiplayer, this is important, you must either place a beacon or an antenna on your missile. The reason is is that the the engine does not sync the position of objects that do not have a beacon or antenna on them to clients, which is kind of crappy, but yeah, that happens. So, by putting this beacon or this antenna on, it will force the engine to update the position of this missile to all clients so that it won't just spaz out in multiplayer. Okay? Um, also, you can turn off any blocks you want, like the detached thrusters and the the large main thruster. Um, just don't turn off the program or the timer, those need to be on. Um, but everything else will automatically turn itself on or off when you need it. So let's run setup one more time. Okay, you see that just no antenna or artificial mass is found. Now that we have our missile set up, um, what we need to do is create a shooter ship. So for that purpose, I have enlisted the help of the old-fashioned blue ship. So the first thing we're going to need is a merge block on this thing so that we can attach our missile to it. Like so. And we also need our shooter reference. If you remember, it passed an error shooter reference found the shooter reference will be on this actual shooter ship so if we go in here remote control we need to add the tag shooter reference make sure you spell this right I always get it wrong r-e-f-e-r-e-n-c-e -E -E. gosh 
engineers and spelling. Yeah, so this can go wherever you want in the name. Uh, I just tacked it on to the end because I wanted to. is easier. So that's, that's sorted. So we have everything we need to fire this thing. And I'm also going to add a camera on the front of this thing so that I can see where I'm aiming. Oh, also note how the upside down T looking thing is pointed in the direction that we want the missile to travel. Okay, so camera is there. Let me set up the camera real quick. View. Alright, looks like camera's good. So now, we can paste this missile onto here. Oops, it's a bad merge block connection. Whatever, it'll still work. Okay, so we have a target about one kilometer away. We're going to go to the program and do one last second check. You don't have to do this. I just like to do this to show you. If you hit setup, it'll tell you success, ready to run. That means that the missile is good to go and it is ready to fire. So now we go to the timer, missile one, then trigger now. Then you'll see that the detached thrusters kick in and then one second after, the main thrust ignites. Wherever I aim, this thing will go, wow, this view is really jumpy. It, it hit the target, it just decided to disappear because yay physics bugs. I'll show you one more firing of this to show you the, the little safety feature I built into this. So if you fire this somewhere, say over here, by going here, timer, trigger now, if you fire this in this direction, And then you're like, oh no, I don't want to fire it that way, I want to fire it this way. You'll notice that the missile is behind us. Uh, typically, with the old code, the missile might slam into the back of you. Um, but if we track it, we'll see that it goes a little bit off to the side before it steers back on the target. There we go, we hit, and it actually did some damage that time, that's cool. So yeah, uh, the reason this missile is sluggish is because it has <laughs> six detached thrusters. Uh, it's a little bit excessive. Um, if any, I do like two or one, or alternatively, you can use a artificial mass and a gravity gen on your ship to push it away. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is that's the setup of the missile code. Um, if any of y'all want more details on the advanced functions of the code, uh, feel free to comment, and if enough people ask, I'll go ahead and make a, another video uh, showing you how to set it up with rotors, with connectors, etc., all the alternative ways. But uh, for now, that's all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope this helps out a lot. I look forward to seeing what you guys create.